Okay, so I somehow need to get this huge box up here. It just seems I make the simplest tasks just so difficult and laboured, and only in a mildly hilarious way. <sighs> Today was the big day. I was finally going to make a YouTube video after months of working on various television projects. It felt good again to be among the ranks of people who wish they were on TV, but aren't, so they have to resort to YouTube. Christ. All right, that wasn't so bad. Now I just need to put an address in my phone. Oh, why is my phone so slow? Why aren't you working? Great, it's frozen. I have an iPhone 6, it's a couple of years old, so it obviously doesn't work properly anymore with the current operating system. Apple think they're so clever. They think I'm just gonna go out and buy a new phone, but I'm not. The new model is rumored to be coming out fairly soon, so I'm holding out for that. That'll teach those Apple bitches. Okay, first things first, I need a little cafe boost. I get myself a cheeky little cafe. I'm saying coffee, but I'm saying it in a weird way. Okay, I'm not sure what I want to get. I know I want something cold because I'm too impatient to drink a hot drink. Should I get a mocha? Or maybe vanilla or caramel? What about a double shot espresso? Wow, I wonder what that feels like in my mouth. It's these kind of moments that keep my repressed homosexuality exactly that. Repressed. Not that there's anything wrong with homosexuality, of course. It's just like every British person, I believe all sexuality should be repressed. Nothing, however, was going to stop me from feeling like a complete dick talking loudly into a camera in a public place. Good day. All right, I'm all coffeeed up, now it's time to hit the road. It was nice to be back in LA. It's one of my favourite places, with its great food, great weather, and spiralling homeless and mental health problems. Seriously, America, you need to work on that. I really am starting to feel at home here. Home. Homo. Homosexual. Sorry, repress, repress! Okay, I'm here. This is where I'm gonna be calling home for the foreseeable future. Now, all I have to do is unpack all my stuff, but I have to do it in the next seven minutes or something really, really bad is going to happen. Something really, really bad wasn't going to happen at all. This was just a lazy attempt at adding some sort of jeopardy to the video to make it seem more entertaining. <coughs> Hello, hi there. I'm I'm really good uh, friends with the with the Sugar Puff boys. Uh, yeah, Stefan, uh, John, and Slub. Yes, that's right. I'm back at the Sugar Pine Seven office. Last time I was in LA, I was lucky enough to meet three 12-year-old boys in Chuck E. Cheese that had their own office facilities. It's a friendship that has blossomed into something very beneficial for me. For using their office, all Steven Suptic asks of me is that I source him fresh blood every three months to combat his debilitating heroin addiction. Oh, don't act surprised that Steven Suptic is on heroin. You don't stay jagger thin like that without help. I give him about six months. Hey guys! Hey! Fuck all, pal, old friend! I'm walking into this room for the first time. Honey! Oh, it's good to see you. You're back from old England. Yeah, from old, good old England. How are you? Re really good. What are you eating there? Just a little bit of... What do you call it's that? It's like a, a mixed greens Skittles bag. Is, it, is there basil in that? No, this is just pure, um... Mint. What's that shit? Mm -hmm. Um... Bush. Marijuana leaf. It's looking into Kib's eyes I can see a lot of myself. The torment of such repressed, obvious homosexuality that will inevitably rip my family apart. By the way, if my wife is watching this, I know you've had your suspicions, but I am not gay. I love you, Claire. And who's this little guy? Hey, buddy. Come on, what? How's it going? Is this for real? Steve is a complicated person. He's almost seven foot tall, but still has all of his baby teeth. It's called dental... Den, den, what's it called? Dental... It's called dental agenesis, and it only affects one in 7.6 billion people. It's this condition that lets you forgive him for his many, many flaws. Hey, big man. Buckley! How's it... Hold on! Sorry, I was listening to something loud. What's up, man? Also, it was nice to see James. 
For someone who's socially awkward, who doesn't have many friends, it was great to know these guys had my back. I'm not sure why our default mode is to focus on the negative things that happen in our lives, but being here among this exciting group of young creatives reminds me how great life can be. And these guys shouldn't be a distraction from worrying about my health or paying a mortgage or getting the car repaired. It's moments like this why we do anything that we do. I'm not gay. Oh no, no.